Today we're going to have to cancel Harry Styles again. Or perhaps it, it's not so much Harry Styles we're canceling as the legions of cult-like plebes who pretend that everything he does is brilliant and beautiful. You probably recall the ruckus last week when Styles uh, appeared in a magazine in women's clothes and Candace Owens, who will soon be having a show here on The Daily Wire, dared to suggest that men should not be wearing skirts and dresses and should instead be masculine as God and nature intended. Well, the story sort of died down until yesterday when Styles issued a clapback to Owens. Now, I use the term clapback because that is the term used by literally dozens of news outlets in their headlines about the story. Just Google Harry Styles clapback and then, you know, put the, hit, hit the news button. Dozens of these, uh, of these headlines. Harry Styles claps back at Candace Owens. They use that term because we live in an exceedingly stupid society where once self-respecting news outlets use teenage lingo in their headlines. But in any case, um, here is Harry Styles and his clapback. His, I'm told, devastating, brilliant, genius, incredible, life-changing, historic clapback. Possibly the cleverest comeback in the history of comebacks. And here it is. It's an, it's an Instagram post of Harry Styles in what appears to be Seinfeld's puffy shirt. Or that might, that might be a blouse stitched together from his grandmother's tablecloth. I'm not sure. And he's eating a banana. And the caption says, bring, bring back manly men. Which is what Candace Owens had said. So that's a clapback. Now, a few things here. First of all, are we really going to pretend that this man doesn't look stupid as hell in that ridiculous outfit? The problem here is not that it's womanly. I've never seen a woman dress like that or any human. If my wife walked into the room wearing that, I would immediately stage an intervention, assuming that she's high on heroin. Second, I want you to imagine something for a moment. Just imagine what would happen if a white conservative male celebrity, what few exist, were to issue a clap back to a black liberal woman with a picture of himself eating a banana. Imagine how that would be received. Imagine what assumptions would be made. You know, we're at a point right now where you can simply move your fingers a certain way. You can make a, a, a circle with your index and thumb like this, and you'll be accused of sending racist messages. Right now, I'm, I'm sending a racist message, supposedly. Almost anything is a racist dog whistle these days. So how is this picture of a guy eating a banana meant as a diss to a black woman not a racist dog whistle? Now, to be clear, I don't actually think that Harry Styles meant it that way. Um, I don't really want to speculate on what he's doing with that banana on camera, much less what he'll do with it off camera. But we all know damn well what kinds of speculation the media would be doing if the politics were reversed here. The explosions of outrage would be nuclear. The offender would have already issued multiple tearful apologies, which would not be enough to stop him from getting dropped from every project and partnership he's a part of. That's how it would go. But because Candace is a conservative, none of that applies. In fact, Harry Styles, he could probably actually come out and say that he meant it in a racist way, and it still wouldn't bother anyone on the left or in the media. Because they believe that if you're a conservative, you don't deserve basic human decency. So no treatment towards you can be out of bounds. You could be shot dead, as we've seen, by some Antifa radical in the street, and they still won't say that you didn't deserve it. So this goes for racist treatment too, of course. And this is double true for female conservatives and black conservatives and doubly, doubly true for black female conservatives because they're not only horrible people for being conservative, but they're also traitors, as the logic goes. Third point, um, you know, I'm talking about conservatives here, but Candace's original point is not really a conservative point. It's not a political point. It's just a normal, natural human, healthy observation. She's saying that she wants men to be masculine. She wants men to live up to their masculine potential. That's what she wants from men as a woman. And I got news for you. That's what almost all women who have ever lived on earth have wanted from men. That's not to say that all women have the same taste in men, but generally speaking, almost all women, the vast, vast majority, since the dawn of human civilization, have desired that men be masculine, strong, protectors, providers, more stoic and rational than emotional and sensitive. There are varying degrees. There are different tastes and priorities, of course. But there are also general statements we can make about what most women have wanted in men throughout history. 
just as there are general statements we can make about what most men have wanted in women. Again, since the dawn of time, most men have wanted women who are affectionate, maternal, feminine, empathetic, caretakers, etc. Now, we can, I suppose, discuss whether these ideals are good or right or whatever. I would say they absolutely are good and right, and that societies which produce feminine women and masculine men tend to thrive. In fact, societies cannot thrive unless there is some kind of general idea about what roles men and women are supposed to play within it. But my point even before we get to the discussion about whether these traditional gender role, role ideas are right, is simply that they are entirely normal and natural and human. Candace Owens, in saying that she finds it ridiculous and off-putting when men prance around in women's clothes, is expressing the view of literally billions of women on earth, past and present. The left reacts to this normal expression, this normal view not just by calling it wrong, by, but by acting as though it's insane, irrational, bizarre, crazy. You aren't just incorrect for thinking that men shouldn't cross-dress. You're a freak, a weirdo, a nut job. This is the game they play. They do the same thing with drag queen story hour, with uh, children being given hormone pills, people declaring themselves to be gender, queer, pansexual, aliens, or whatever. They are the ones introducing this bizarre and disturbing thing but they act like you are the eccentric wacko if you don't immediately accept it. They want to make normalcy seem abnormal. They seek to make what is natural seem perverse and what is perverse seem natural. It is a massive game of overcompensation, you could say. And as a tactic, it's extremely effective. You know, they do something weird like have a drag queens dressed like Tim Burton characters show up to the library to read LGBT propaganda to four-year-olds and if you say, yeah, you know, I don't think I really am in favor of this. I don't, I, I don't like it. They go, what? You, you have a problem with this? You don't like this? What? What are you, some kind of degenerate? And it works. Lots of people, upon receiving that reaction, throw up their hands and say, okay, okay, never mind. Do what you want. Jeez. All right. I forget I said anything. That's, that is essentially what, what most of America says to the left. It's that they don't agree with them. They just say, all right, just fine, do what you want. Comparatively few people have the gumption and the guts to be met with that onslaught and to say, yes, I do have a problem with it. Now stop being hysterical. You're the degenerates, not me. Get this crap out of the library. Very few will do that. Even though the vast majority of people think it's weird and creepy, few will say it out loud. And even fewer will keep saying it, even when the pitchfork mob shows up at their door. And so the left gets away with making what is normal abnormal and what is abnormal normal. They are trying to cancel normalcy, in effect. But today, they are canceled instead, for what it's worth, which admittedly probably is not much. But there it is. Hey, you. Uh, yeah, you. You right, you right there. Hit the subscribe button right now. Do it. Do it right now. I thank you for your compliance. It's somewhat appreciated.